Hello. So this is either the first video or some video of a series where uh, I am talking to a bunch of setters at SudokuCon. Um, and so, yeah. You have to be that enthusiastic at the beginning of all of them, though, in case this isn't yeah, the first one. Because we don't know which one's going to be the first one. Um, <laughs> exactly that enthusiastic, no more or less. Yes. <laughs> we need to make sure we have equal enthusiasm for all setters. Um, but yeah, so uh, I figured since I have so many setters here, why don't we show setting process? And we're going to have a bunch of videos in this series. And so in order to have time limit on the setting process, we're, we're all going to be setting approachable 6 by 6s as would be appropriate for my adventure series. Although it is published in this video. So if you want to try the puzzle that was set for this video, you can check the description and try it yourself before you see how it was set. And um, yeah, so why don't you introduce yourself? Hello, I'm Zeta Math. Uh, I stream a couple days a week and set a bunch of crazy Sudoku puzzles and other pencil puzzles I, I also tend to do. Uh, so uh, also, I just gave a talk earlier today, which is exciting. So check the VOD. There's a uh, great talk on graph theory as related to puzzles, which is very interesting. And you led to me saying the word tree. So it was, yes. all, it was all very good. I contributed a, a word to it. <laughs> there you go. There you go. One word at a time. That's how, that's how a talk is made, right? Um, yeah, actually, you know, I make talks two words at a time. So, oh, you know, I'm twice ooh, as okay. Fast yeah. at, it's at like taking them. stairs two at a time. Yeah, exactly. I hear it gets harder as you get older or something. And you end up tripping over yourself. So that's that's true. That's true. I think this metaphor is very good. <laughs> yes, excellent. It will definitely make the final video. Yes. Uh. <laughs> All right, so um, feel free to take the lead, and I'm just going to bother you with questions excellent. as you go. And, Do we and have you're very good at talking through your own thoughts. Do we have so. truth candidates on? Yeah, we've got truth uh, candidates. So I was warned that this was happening earlier, so I had admit that I uh, made a break-in and then thought about it. Uh, so that might be dangerous, but also I think it will help make this faster. Uh, so uh, the thing I thought about was, oh, I've set like Renbon Nabner puzzles uh, before, and I should say Renbon mean the digits on the purple line are consecutive, and Nabner, uh, as Ranks told on me earlier, is Renbon backwards. Uh, and so digits on this line can't be consecutive. Uh, and so uh, the thing I thought of was this layout here, where the observation here is that if I'm going to have a three cell Nabner, the really easy way to do that is to make it one, three, five, or two, four, six. But either of those destroys this uh, Renbon. And so what this does is it gives me a whole bunch of marks that I could exploit. So one of them is this 2-5. I could put some 1-6 corner marks over here. Uh, but uh, especially because this is meant to be approachable and because I want to keep my sanity, uh, I want to just break this immediately rather than uh, not, not break the puzzle, but break the symmetry and the ambiguity. Uh, so I want to stick some line here because uh, it's me. I like lines. So what can I say? So, uh, so would you say your style is to kind of produce a deduction and then and work off of that deduction. That, that is usually what I do. And so usually, most of the time, I can think of the deduction in my head before I draw anything. I'm not really a draw clues in the grid and see what happens kind of uh, setter. So like this much is about what I could do in my head is that this was a 2-5. And it's like, well, I've got a 2-5. I've got some like 1-6 corner marks down here. What could I do with those? Uh, and this is sort of the most vulnerable cell, so, and also just aesthetically the place that I next want to draw a line. Uh, and so I'll tell you actually the thing I wanted to do was a region sum line uh, through here. And so I'll tell you the first thing I thought to do was that, uh -huh. to force it to be a five. But, and this is I think the last step that I thought of before this, and I'll admit I did draw a bunch of sheet of paper to think about this a little bit. So this is this is past uh, the Zeta Math uh, ability to visualize. Uh, we've exceeded that. Is that I sort of noticed that this creates this two three here, mm -hmm. and it's very cute to exploit the fact that two and three sum to five. So if I actually make the line do that instead, it's no longer a line, but it does a lot of damage. Uh, because it forces that now to be a 1-4 as opposed to a 2-3, oh. and so that creates a lot of stuff over here. Uh, and so this is what I thought about. Uh, I realized I was told like two constraints is the standard for adventure, but I figured three because I wanted one that was the same. Because you're Zeta. And, and you I, know, in Renban and Nabner, are, you all use the same letters as each other. It's so true, it's true. So really there's a constraint on the number of letters that you're allowed to use. Yeah, uh, um, I think that makes sense, yeah. And, and three is really very few line types for me to put in a puzzle, really. So. And I think this is a really good example of the things I like to see in the adventure series, which is it's an approachable deduction, but it's also interesting. And I think that we can be a 
approachable and interesting at the same time, and entertain someone for three to five minutes is still entertainment. So. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, I, I, re I mean, I really like the adventure series, uh, and I, I do them more often than I set for them. But uh, I think it would be scary if you set more than you did, um, because I, I guess, yeah. The, uh, I, I was sort of excluding the doing my own uh, adventure <laughs> puzzles from that, but probably if you just like changed the name on some of the adventure puzzles and submitted it to me, I probably wouldn't realize that, that some of them were my puzzles because uh, yeah, I don't have the best memory of things. But, well, uh, once you've set enough puzzles, you start forgetting how to solve your old ones. The, that is true sometimes. Yeah, the, I mean, okay, so, uh, very quickly. Oh yeah. So what are we doing with this one four pair here? So what are we doing with the one for pair. So uh, the thing I was next noticing is that if I try and draw something like this, it's going to force a whole lot. And the reason for that is because if I put that kind of like uh, arrow masquerading as a region sum line yeah. uh, <laughs> in here. Might as well uh, be an arrow puzzle at this yeah, point. Yeah, I'm, I'm, but that would look so much worse. <laughs> like with the circles against the lines. Uh, mm. Yeah, uh, but yeah, if the, if the final published version has that, that's fine. Uh, but the thing I uh, was noticing was, well, if I put that line there, well, this certainly has to be a five or a six, but it can't actually be a five uh, because that would destroy these mm. cells, and I've got those there. So <coughs> that actually is just sort of forced to be a six, and that's just, and so my experience with six by sixes tells me I'm basically oh. going to, I'm basically going to destroy the entire grid if I then uh, put this here. Uh, so that was my sort of inclination. And now I should probably try and get to the other side of the grid if I want this to eventually be unique. Um, yeah, I think you probably need both sides unique. Pro probably, probably. Uh, unless I want to just have some other setter do the other half of the grid <laughs> and then just uh, really change the format. That would be an interesting uh, uh, thing to do, but let, let's have you finish this. Yeah, yeah, let, let's, uh, let's attempt that. So. Uh, we did this whole bit with how you can't have all evens or all odds along a length three Nabner uh, unless, well, unless you have exactly all evens or all odds. And I'm sort of noticing I've got two even values here, two odd values here. And so I'm wondering if I can get away with something like this without breaking the puzzle. And nope. the answer is no, because <laughs> the thing we proved earlier, I now realize, is that that has to have a one and a six on it. Hmm. And that's going to cause a problem with the one cell I didn't mention. Uh, so that's unfortunate. Uh, I could do something like that, I think. But I'm not sure it does anything now because, uh, oh, I mean, the thing it does is rule out one and six from this cell, which is right. uh, maybe not the most exciting thing uh, that one has ever hoped to do. Uh, what if we do that? Oh, that's broken too, huh? That surprises me. Oh, I guess, yeah, it would have to be one, three, five there, and that breaks that, or six. Two, four, there, and that breaks that because it can't have. Both Maybe we should turn sixes. on the solution count option. Oh yeah, that's probably a good idea. I, I do always turn this on. I wish this was on by default. Is is it not on by default for performance reasons? Uh, it is slower, but I see that. Uh, honestly, I don't control the default settings very well in general because F puzzles kind of just changes them on you anyway. I see. Yeah. I see. I, I always go and slam that on right away, yeah. but. Uh, Okay, so I probably should think of something else to do. It looks over to what I wrote in my notes earlier. Uh, so, uh, what else can we do? So, so we got a this? bunch of digits for placing that. Yeah, so let's see. Is there something we can reward or some way we can bounce over to the other side uh, of the grid here? Uh, a lot let's... of it is information we basically already knew, though. It's just now that we have concrete digits. It is true. Let's see. So... I guess, let's see, okay, here, here's something we can do. We can, well, at least I conjecture we could do it. Ooh. So I put a Nabner here. So I wanted to reuse the deduction from the beginning that mm -hmm. uh, if it doesn't have one and six, it's all evens and all odds. And we used it the backwards way before, but now this one definitely doesn't have one six because yeah. it doesn't have a six. Yeah. Uh, and so therefore it's all evens or all odds, but it doesn't have a six. So therefore it's one, three, five. Uh, and so that gives us something. That, that lets me reuse the deduction. I, I like in adventure puzzles especially reusing a deduction as many times as I can. Yeah, make it, maybe of, making it a little bit harder the second time. Right, right, right or yes, twisting it slightly. I don't quite like repeating myself, but yeah, the, the slight twist really, I think, helps. So if this was me, I'd reward the, this two. Is that the, the two on the... Yeah, what can we do with the I'm two? That I'm pointing at that everyone can see. Yeah, that, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Well, they can watch the video and they can see where you're pointing, right? They can you infer tri triangulate screen. where the laptop is. Exactly, yes. Yeah. So uh, let's see, can we draw some sort of like, 
uh, maybe Renbon through this two or something to reward it, because two is a kind of uh, iffy number to have on a, a Renbon. A short enough Renbon would exclude six if it's got a two on it. Right? That's true. Uh, so yeah, you could do something like that, which isn't going to do a lot. Oops. That's not really what I intended to do, I'll be honest. I actually wanted to see what that would do. It gives uh, a five for some reason. It does. Oh, it, it adds three to the line. Yeah, because it adds three to the line. Oh my gosh, yeah, I we got to do something about that pop up. <laughs> 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 People are oh. seeing the the world news every time you scroll. Put your mouse. I, right I, unfortunately, I haven't looked at it. I assume it's bad though. Yeah, I, uh, I haven't either. I'm, I'm avoiding <laughs> it. <laughs> This is being recorded on April 5th, if you want to know when the world was still around while we were recording this. Okay. Uh, so, I actually kind of, I, I don't think I would have seen this uh, at, th at this level of awakeness, but I actually kind of like the putting the five up there by doing this, because certainly yeah. the thing you get is there's definitely a three over here. Now, now I'm seeing some ghost digits. We've got some yeah, threes yeah, and six, the, so we're close to a unique solution, at least. Yeah, we're very close. Yeah. The, uh, so let's see, is there a way we can either, uh, I'm debating something like uh, putting a suspicious actual region sum line that's not only one cell just not, just into the arrow, grid. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I won't feel too bad about it, but I know some people will be very offended if there's only region sum lines that are actually arrows in the grid. Yeah, I'm wondering um, about like a nine like trying to get that to add to nine or something. Yeah, I was wondering if we could reward, oh, the, reward five, the five. That's true. Uh, like uh, something like through here uh, could maybe be five one four. Although it will not. We're now at the point where if I add something in and it just instantly breaks, I'm not going to be surprised. Okay. Uh, but it doesn't. Uh, okay, I, I'm going to be admit. Yes, uh, I thought this was five one four because I don't know what digit adds to what on a region sum line. <laughs> Well, because you were uh, drawing an arrow, so if you actually made this an arrow puzzle, you could draw an arrow there, right? Yes, exactly, exactly, yeah, so, the, um, uh, so it could do that. Now we have some green digits. Yeah, now we've got some green digits, so that's always a great sign. Uh, if we are trying to uh, get a longer one in there, that also buys us some green digits, although I don't know if I want to think about why. Let's see, <laughs> yeah. okay. Uh, certainly, actually, that's not too six. bad, because yeah. this sum is going to be, well, at least seven. Uh, if you look at what these two are going to add to, and then if you look at what these two are going to add to, that excludes the one, but it's going to have to add to something odd, so it's going to need the three in there, and then that nails that it has to be three, six, and four. Yeah. Uh, so I think that's reasonable. I don't think it's anything weird. Uh, I mean, any weirder than anything that I do. So for those who don't know, our green digits mean we're close to the end, because if we have the solution include any of those green digits, it will now be a unique puzzle. And so now I'm told that the, the stylish thing to do is just throw in a random black dot and call it good. Oh yeah, we want to add a fourth uh, <laughs> constraint to our, De our Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Uh, incredibly approachable. You uh, could add a white dot for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love that. That sounds perfect to me. Let's do that. Or a two cell Renbon. It's just, yeah, yeah. That was the joke. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, what a, two cell Thermo. Yeah, the, those are the, the classy. Uh, boy, remember No, what when, you do is you put a little killer across this whole main diagonal. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love the disambiguating little killers, especially because they're so ugly in F puzzles because they <laughs> shrink the grid by 30% yeah. to have the one disambiguating little killer. It's Off amazing. In the corner, yeah. uh, let's see. Okay, so we've got three. Here's my game. If I've got three of each of these and two of each of these, so I kind of want to add one of those. Mm -hmm. Uh, we don't have a length two Nabner yet, so uh, there, there's some temptation to try and get away with a length two Nabner and see if I can uh, do it. Uh, so I think that will. That is a that's a sum length line. two region sum line that doesn't cross a box border. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that might not disambiguate the puzzle. I have yeah. a hypothesis. I'm surprised nothing uh, changed when. You <laughs> yeah, that's, it's amazing. It's almost like that was logically deducible. Uh, okay, so uh, I think that's gonna do it, and it. Ooh, we got a one six to the. Okay, well it, it lets me add a uh, oh, length. Ren band. So yeah, that was, was on purpose. Yeah, so perfect. Get a ren uh, the the reason, by the way, wh why this is is that. Uh, or why this was interesting, is that I saw that uh, this digit was always going to have to be... Oh, actually, maybe I don't see why this couldn't be 6, 2. I was just trying to see that it ruled out 1 from this cell, and then assuming that would do it, but maybe it six, doesn't. 6, 2 point. makes both of these 3. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not thrilled about using that as an yeah. adventure step or any step, really. Uh, let's see. So what else could we do? We could also maybe strive for... 
Let's see. Somewhere in here, uh, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to see exactly what we could do that would do something like that. Any comments from the peanut gallery about what we can uh, add? You can't really see. <laughs> you can't really see. OK, OK, well then. I think, I think that a Ren ban across these two will do it. Or, or a nab nab? Try, try a Ren ban. A two cell. Oh, two cell that includes the five. Ah, that'll get us closer. Can you try the Ren ban across this border? I can. Uh, there you go. There we go. Perfect. And I, I like it. Yeah, that's. Yeah, there, there you go. Yeah, great. Uh, I mean, the green digit told us it would happen, right? Because it forces uh, this to be two. Right, right. Because yeah, six five is There's not no an five, option. Yeah. yeah that, so. And I think we needed like the three from the last clue we added to the grid to make that work. So I think that'll yeah. work. So normally this is where we would test solve and all that, but but instead uh, we're just going to publish it we and have see a, what happens. Yeah, we have a huge uh, <laughs> gallery of uh, people waiting to also do settings. So yes, thank you, Zeta. Absolutely, great to meet you in person, and all of the rest of you. There we go. There's some enthusiastic applause. Yes. Excellent. Great.